Hi, I'm Oscar. Hi, I'm Erwin. Erwin, we're going to talk about uh, we're going to talk today about one of my favorite services, I think, um, App Service. Yes, that's correct. Um, I uh, prepared something about health checks in mm -hmm. App Services. Uh, today we're going to look at uh, how to set it up in uh, the Azure portal and also how to configure it in uh, hp.net core. Okay, so I know about um, App Service. It's amazing, it's simple, it's just IaaS as a server uh, or as a service. Um, and we know about scaling, but health checks there. Mm -hmm. Is there a feature? Yes, it has. Uh, you can enable it in the portal. Mm -hmm. uh, it's basically uh, you give it an endpoint, uh, and from that point on, uh, Azure will look at that endpoint every minute mm -hmm. and get uh, back: is it healthy or not? Um, if it's healthy, everything's fine. If it's not healthy, then it has some internal logic uh, to determine: should I uh, take this app service out of the load balancer and put something uh, else back in, or? kill it and mm -hmm. uh, create a new instance altogether. Okay, so it's not just, um, it's a ping, is it up and uh, here you know, um, it actually can make some decisions for you. Yes, it has some logic, uh, but it will never take down the app fully. So if you only have one instance running, um, it cannot really do anything. But if you have a scaling setup and have multiple instances, then it is able to uh, take an unhealthy one out so that no new requests uh, come in on it. And, um, okay, so yeah, taking, taking the last one out is, yeah, it's unhealthy, so I'm taking out, yeah, there's no real difference anymore. So. No, no, then it's <laughs> no, That's not what we want. Okay, can you, can you show us something? Yes, um, here in the portal, I've created an app service. Mm -hmm. um, to the right here, you see immediately a health check, uh, not configured, so you can click it. Uh, enable it and then it uh, asks for an endpoint, can be any endpoint. Um, I set up something on uh, slash uh, hg and um, then it is the load balancing. So this slider basically means uh, how many minutes uh, can it be unhealthy before uh, it starts taking it out of the load balancing. Okay. So taking out of load balancing means uh, no new requests come in. Uh, mm -hmm. It's still will continue to ping it to see if it gets back healthy. If it's healthy, it returns back to the load balancing. Um, and if it stays unhealthy for too long, then it just decides to kill it. Okay, so you have, uh, like, let's say, three nodes running mm -hmm. uh, every uh, so many minutes, because it pings every one minute? Every minute, thought? yes. Every minute. It pings that endpoint, mm -hmm. and as long, because I don't see any configuration around it, as long as it's like 200 OK or something, um, it will keep it in. But if you have three nodes and one of them is uh, 500 thing on that endpoint or doing something else weird or timing out, I guess, um, after that slider minutes, mm -hmm. uh, it will take it out and it will continue monitoring it. So if it comes back alive because the memory got resolved by now or, or something else, um, it will just put it back in. Yeah, yeah. It, it blindly looks at the HTTP states code you mm -hmm. get. Uh, so everything in the 200 range is fine. Everything else is not fine. That's, that's only logic it has. And uh, it checks every minute, unless it's unhealthy, then it increases its checks a bit to make sure if it's uh, getting healthy, then it can okay. put it and, back and faster. Because what will it do? Like, let's say you have auto scaling enabled, mm -hmm. um, so you will hit your percentage again, but is it counting this one with, uh, with scaling out? Because I can imagine it's, we have three nodes, we have enough load for three nodes mm -hmm. around, you shouldn't scale, but you take this one out, does it? Provision you another one? Uh, does no. it know it's, it's no. out there? No, as long as it is, uh, or it will count for your maximum amount of nodes. That's uh, the average, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it, you, you do have to. Be yeah, a so bit if of you have three like, nodes and one is unhealthy, then you only have two nodes. At you that might point. still have two nodes 100% and it won't scale because of your rules. Yeah. Okay, so that's the guy. Is there any point that it will just terminate it? Um, yeah, basically after one hour mm -hmm. uh, of trying and it's still unhealthy, then it will terminate it. Uh, it has a small side note. It looks at the app service plan it actually is running on. Mm -hmm. So if that app service plan is shared by other app services, it mm -hmm. will not kill it uh, unless all apps, uh, app services on it are unhealthy. Okay, so the, um, uh, indeed an app service plan, you have the abstraction of your web app. Mm -hmm. It's running on app service plan. That's kind of your VM definition, but that's a skill set. Yeah. So if you have one unhealthy node on, um, um, of your web app on a service plan where the other one that's also scaled out is fine and also has health checks, it won't mm -hmm. kill it. 
No. It will indefinitely hold on that note. Yeah. That's that's good to know. That's yeah. a limitation. Yeah. So it will never kill something that is healthy. Because it, the side effect will be that it will restart something that was working completely fine. Yes. Um, so I can also imagine the logic behind that. Um, but definitely if you don't know, uh, you might be puzzled why it's not working as you designed. Um, cool. The, the health check itself, because you uh, do slash HC here, um, what do you put behind it? Is that a static HTML? Because I can imagine your app is running all kinds of things and it's fine hosting static content, but yeah, you want to know something more, right? Yeah, yeah. so Azure can handle any page, uh, mm -hmm. basically. Uh, it only looks at uh, uh, HTTP states code that mm -hmm. it gets back. Um, but uh, they also, Microsoft provided a way for us to easily set up health checks uh, to more uh, yeah, look into it, uh, what we check. Mm -hmm. uh, for that, I uh, added some code. Yeah. Uh, this is just uh, .NET 6 new uh, web API. Okay, so this is the ASP.NET uh, setup. Yeah, so uh, only thing I added here is uh, builder services at health checks. That's mm -hmm. basically what you need for the... Uh, the health checks and here you can uh, you have to say which uh, endpoint you want to use yeah this is exposing a route yeah exposing a route so if i run it like this and go to hc basic then uh, i will see just a white page that says healthy or unhealthy uh, with a 200 uh, code or a 503 i believe okay but as i see this it's not doing anything making any decisions won't it just always be healthy unless the whole app is down yeah, in this case uh, it is. So what they added, uh, I have some health checks here. Mm -hmm. um, so what they did is uh, they provide some functions for us um, to create our own uh, health checks. Yeah. Um, there's nothing out of the box uh, provided by Microsoft. Um, so here's just an example of an, uh, an check uh, I created, just a custom check. It's really simple. It, uh, you can create a class, implement iHealth check interface, you get a check health async, and that one needs to return healthy or unhealthy based on some logic. Okay, uh, so be timeout, it's actually be two anything. components. You're, you're providing a route for your health check. Yeah. Um, it gives you a health check, uh, yeah, some kind of framework, and then you define or, 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 yeah, a health endpoint framework, and you define your checks uh, that can be multiple mm -hmm. um, per piece, and it will go through all of them to see if they're healthy. So if one of them fails, yeah. Um, it will actually uh, uh, you know, give an unhealthy code, I guess. Yeah, uh, same way is with the external API check. It's, it's something we create custom. It has the same logic as custom check in the backend, only this example uses mm -hmm. uh, an extension method to call it. Uh, the Cosmos DB one is a special one. Um, there is an, a GitHub repository uh, created by uh, someone uh, Microsoft also mentions it in their uh, documentation page mm -hmm. with the note like it's not maintained by Microsoft. Um, but this is a good idea. <laughs> but it is, is a good idea. Um, why it's not scrolling? Uh, but if you look at it, it has uh, health checks for a lot of different services, mostly Azure, but also Amazon Okay, stuff. so this is not just the Cosmos DB one, this is No, 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 it has Cosmos, SQL, uh, Gremlin, uh, Kubernetes, uh, Network, Postgres, SendGrid, SignalR, there's a lot. So if you want something, um, yeah, this is a good starting so point. These are health checks that you add, it's like I have a specific service which if that's down like this api is useless mm -hmm. um you can check so like i need to know my oracle db in the background is connecting i guess yep. that's an implementation there yeah or i can i can yeah it's, it's mostly pinging endpoints i guess or mm -hmm. making an actual connection um and you can if you want do the implementation yourself which you can make as, as ridiculous as, as you want to i guess yes okay um yeah practical so we have in-app service, um, an option to um, yeah to see your uh, to make sure your instances are healthy and take them out of the load balancer when you don't need it. Mm -hmm. It needs an endpoint. Um, in ASP.NET, you have this system to provide you those endpoints. Yeah, great. Do you have anything more? Um, yeah. So right now, the endpoint is just saying um, healthy or unhealthy. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be you want more um, in-depth reports, especially when it's unhealthy, which service was unhealthy, etc. Yeah, yeah. uh, for that they have publishers. This application inside publisher uh, is also from the GitHub repository. 
Um, so but basically it gathers the information and pushes it to application insight. They have okay, so you don't have to separately ones. ping this one to see what's happening. This is actually it's like I'm being pinged anyway. I'm going to expose the yeah the issues that are there. Yeah. That's cool. So also like this comes uh, from the GitHub repository. Uh, if you want, you can also create a custom one setup uh, after how much delay and in which frequency you want to uh, run it. Mm -hmm. um, and besides that, um, there's one more thing I want to show you. And that is uh, basically, this is um, just text um, from Microsoft, but mm -hmm. that GitHub repository also created a simple UI. So if you want to have it uh, visualized. Uh, to do that, you can create a health checkpoint and you can put a response writer, mm -hmm. uh, overwrite it. Doing it like this creates, instead of just one word, creates a JSON response. Yeah. And the JSON response can then be used by someone else uh, or, or by their UI to, to visualize it a lot better. Uh, the same way to get the UI working, you have to, uh, oh, it's over here. Uh, at the health checks UI, uh, specify different help points, uh, endpoints you want to add, and uh, expose the endpoint itself over here. Um, if we then run this code, then I think I have it here already. Um, yeah, you get uh, this out of the box. It's now restarting a bit, so it takes a few seconds. So it's a front end like we see our, our, our Swagger documentation, right? So yeah. you, you generate the JSON from the details that it's collecting anyway. Yeah. Um, if you had an endpoint, so there's some backend calls going on here, mm -hmm. and it's hosting a nice visual service to go through what's actually happening. Yeah, so this one uses uh, in-memory database, so as soon as I close down, all history is lost, but... Um, you can uh, connect it to any database, so it's stored, and you can see it uh, longer. It also has some web books, and it has some more details. Uh, you can see the text setup and details. Now it's everything's fine, but if someone something is down, uh, you see here the update when it went down, when it was back healthy, uh, etc. So you have, yeah, a really nice view of uh, how everything happened. Cool. This looks uh, pretty great, actually. Yeah. Um, Next to the app service that's using this, I can also imagine, and well, we have this to make sure if you are even in development time, just run something like, is everything configured okay? Mm -hmm. um, but also, for instance, after um, a deployment of your service mm -hmm. that you use in your build before you swap your slots around or something, you use this endpoint to check, well, pull it a few times until everything is green. Mm -hmm. And that's the moment I'll stop or start swapping. Yeah. So it's more of a like a ready check also, uh, what you put there, would you, because we saw a lot of health checks in there and mm -hmm. some of them are more intrusive, like we have uh, HTTP works, uh, static content works, uh, but I'm uh, also hitting my database or I'm hitting some external API. Um, would you always go through all of them or, because I can imagine pounding every minute uh, your database mm -hmm. is six different APIs, SendGrid, I, I don't know, in the background. Um, you almost need to scale out <laughs> before you get your health checks done. Yeah. Um, no, I wouldn't do everything always. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see here, I have some text uh, set up. Uh, basically, uh, the system has a predicate, uh, mm -hmm. which we can say uh, only for this endpoint, only run uh, the test health checks with this tagging. Okay, so example. you can do some layering in the endpoints yeah. to say, well, this is a full check and this is... Yeah, this is readiness uptime. check, this is a live check. Cool. Well... This is amazing. I think I'm going to use it uh, in some places. Yeah, good to know. Thank you very much. You're welcome. See you next time. Bye.